Hey everyone. So a set of Corso was released at the end of 2014 and at the time it was a really good looking game. We know the gameplay is great and as the game's developed over the last four or five years it really has turned into something really special. Over the last two years the support from Kunos has really reduced and that's obvious because they've got more projects in the pipeline and new games coming out. But what Kunos did do is leave lots and lots of tools behind for modders to actually take this game into petrol head heaven. And that's where the game sits now. So if you're watching this gameplay and thinking, my set of Corsa doesn't look like that, that's because I've got a number of mods running on this gameplay. And what I'm gonna do is talk you through in this video the mods that I prefer, and actually what give you the day, the night cycle, the dynamic lights, the wet tracks, and lots and lots more to look at. So let's jump in. Just a word of warning to start with, when we're installing these mods what we will see is that there is some impact on performance, so depending on the rig you have, the video card you have, the memory you have, the VRAM you have, you may have to layer some of these mods. So we're going to start with Content Manager and I'll talk through that in a moment. Content Manager will allow you to install these mods and take them off one at a time and then multi-layer these mods. So you can then see the video card impact it's going to have and how it's going to affect your frames per second and then adjust appropriately. All of the links to the mods that I'm going to talk about are actually in my description so if you check out the description below that will give you the direct links that you can check out these mods and then install them from there. Also what I'm not going to do in this video is give you install instructions in these mods. There are lots and lots of instructions on YouTube and actually on the websites themselves on how to install these mods but what we're going to start with is Content Manager which will make all of this really, really easy. To start with then, Content Manager should be the first thing you install. Content Manager comes in a light version and then a paid for version. I would recommend the paid for version, I think it's $3 at the moment plus tax um, and it really will make your experience on a set of course uh, so much better. It's a standalone program that sits on your desktop and when you run it, it allows you not only to install mods simply and quickly by dragging and dropping the raw files that you will download and it manages all those files straight away in your set of chords and folders. What it also does, it allows you to start the game very, very easily. This includes choosing your cars, choosing the maps and all of your opponents. It allows you access to all of the mod settings as well and also allows you to check out all the settings that are in the back end of a set of Corsa. And this includes all of your graphics and sound settings, weather settings. It really is the key part to installing mods on a set of Corsa. So next is the big one, custom shader patch. This is what it's all about. If you're around the set of Corsa scene, you will have probably heard about this or maybe even have a version of it installed. A custom shader patch really is the big breakthrough that a set of course are needed to bring the graphics absolutely up to date. It brings a number of dynamic lighting effects, dynamic weather engine, local reflections, bounce lighting, more anti-aliasing, new smoke, sparks, the list goes on. So this is the big one really. So once this is installed you do have the option through Content Manager to choose the version of custom shader patch that you want to be on. There is a recommended version and then there are more experimental versions above that so do check those out. After custom shader patch the next big install is Sol. So currently Sol is on 1.6.2 again the link is in my description and Sol actually brings a number of great additions to a set of Corsa that really bring the game alive. As you can see on some of my video gameplay there is night cycle so this brings a full 24 hour day and night cycle it also improves vastly the clouds as well as 32 predefined weather settings which is great for doing screenshots and great for changing the race actually when you pause uh, on the debug screen when you're on the main screen playing the game. It also brings full night shaders, complete solar system, so moon planets, complete star maps and they change as you go through the day and night cycle. So this really does bring to life a set of Corsa and it's one of the best mods I think that is out there at the moment. Next on the list is wet mod because if you're going to have all of the, these great weather effects in Sol and in the custom shader patch then you want to make sure that the track looks as good as possible. And what wet mod 2.0 does is that it gives you wet variation of 11 of Kunos's fully multiplayer usable tracks, uh, a number of pit tracks, 7 custom standard weathers, it 
changes all of the way that the tarmac looks and on some of the gameplay that you can see in this video you'll see how the reflections and the bouncing of light on the tarmac is absolutely stunning. This allows you to have daytime races where the track is still wet and you've got the added physics with that. There's just been a shower and that's a lot of fun on races but you can have bright sunshine as you do sometimes in spring showers or you could go on full on hurricane with lightning at night the rain coming down it looks absolutely incredible so just to finish the last two mods that i would recommend are new horizon shades and dynamic lights both of these add some great little graphical updates and really again do bring to life what's happening on the game so thank you for watching guys it's been great showing you this gameplay i hope you enjoyed if you do please like and please subscribe and do check out my channel for more driving gameplay see you soon